guys. Um, ha only halfway back. Um, I'm still a little bit sick, and um, I'm about to do my extensions, my clip-in extensions, and I just wanted to show you guys um, how I do mine. I know there's a lot of videos on um, YouTube about um, clipping extensions. I had uh, a video where I used the First Lady Supernatural Weave where I um, use that as my clip-ins. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Hollywood Virgin Remy in 10 inches so it should mimic the length of my own hair. Uh, for me, I use clip-in extensions for volume, not really for um, longer hair, uh, although sometimes it normally works out that way as well. Um, this hair is absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Virgin Remy Hollywood hair, um, and I got it in a color two. Uh, the things you'll need for this are comb, scissors, you can use hair scissors, but I don't have hair scissors, so I'm using clothing scissors. Um, let me get all this crap out of the way. I'm using my Endurabond glue that I got off uh, apexhairs.com, and wig clips, you can buy these at the beauty supply store. Or you can buy them in bulk at RockyTrading.com, which is probably uh, the best solution. Uh, the hair comes in a weft. Uh, I ruined it already, or I already undid it. Uh, wrapped around like this. It's really good quality hair. Uh, and what I do is I measure my head, starting from the back, and... This piece right here um, is long enough for the back portion of my hair. So what I do is I take my glue and I take the weft, which it's actually doubled in size. I like to make it double just to, um, so it can look thicker. And what I do is I glue these two pieces together and how I do that, this glue is in the freezer so it might not be uh, ready yet, is I fold it in half and I just apply the glue to the inside of the weft and I'm going to try and do this so you guys can see it. Uh, just make a crease here and open it up and put the glue. You don't need a lot because this glue is industrial strength glue. This isn't your normal uh, hair weaving glue, which is the reason I like this. And it dries quite fast. So after that, I take it and I fold it back, trying my best not to get it on the hair itself. Okay. So I kind of just hold it down, press it together for like two seconds, five seconds, whatever, until you know it's not coming apart anymore. And it turns out just like this. And normally what I do is I'll take the comb and I'll comb through it. If it would stick. You see, I've managed to get a piece of hair in there. So, I'm just going to cut it off after I comb it out. You see. And. 
And today, I think I'm only going to use like four tracks. I think that should be enough. Uh, if I feel better, I'll show you guys the process of putting them in. This video is just going to be uh, making them. So, this is it. Now, to attach the, the wig clips, you just, um, and the wig clips that I bought, they're the smaller ones. See, and they're just black, and they snap open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it, the glue to this side, so that I can attach, um, when they open, I can attach them to my hair. So what I do with that is I take the glue and I apply it right on the clip, just on this little part right here. And I'm going to use two clips. with the rubber side facing down if it's easier for you. And I'm gonna put this right on the track, not on the hair. I'm gonna put it closest to the edge because um, you know, you can pull it and make it tighter, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I feel like Butterfingers today. <laughs> um, if you guys can see that. Just apply it directly to the weft. And I prefer this method because I'm lazy and I'm not about to sew at all. I tried that and I was like, what the hell am I doing? You know, I have this glue that I'm gluing together the weft with. Why don't I just glue on the clips? And this glue, you know, it's it's not going anywhere at all. You see my fingers are already sticking together. You could probably even use super glue. But this is actually harder than super glue. Um, and this is one of the clips. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the second clip. the plywood section there and put it on the other side and I just hold it down until it doesn't uh, move anymore you hear Spongebob in the background it's one of my favorite shows by the way don't tell anyone <laughs> and then I just hold it like that just to get the curvature of the clip so when I open it, it doesn't uh, unhinge or come off or anything. So this is the clipping for the back. And I prefer this method over going and spending, you know, hundreds of dollars for not even, you know, one pack of hair. Like, I only bought one pack of that uh, hair, and it's going to last me. So this is the extension, and I open it here, open it here. So... Uh, I guess I can do a tutorial um, showing you guys how I apply them to my hair. This is only the back piece. For the um, next piece, what you would do is you would take a piece of the, the weft and you would measure your hair. Like I said, I already screwed it up. Going just a few more sections up. You would measure it, and then double it up, and then glue it together. 
So that's how I do my clip-in extensions. Um, tell me what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, and I really hope I can see you guys soon. All right, bye.